Thank you, Mr. President. Sri Lanka's current economic crisis is its own making over the past several years of economic mismanagement, abuse of human rights and humanitarian rights, especially towards the Tamil-speaking citizens of Sri Lanka, based on a fascist ideology of making Sri Lanka into a singular Buddhist island. This ideology, which paved the way to a civil war, is continuing in the way of military occupation of the Tamil's traditional homeland in the, in the north and east of Sri Lanka. From the start of the UPR process, Sri Lanka used UPR as a tinkering and box-ticking exercise that then of bringing real change by adhering to the enhancement of human rights and humanitarian rights to its own citizens. Here are a few recommendations from the past fourth periodic cycle Sri Lanka has not implemented up to now. Ratify the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and fully align its legislation with all the obligations under the Rome Statute, including incorporating the Rome Statute's definition of crimes and general principles, as well as adopting provisions enabling cooperation with the court. Repeal the Prevention of Terrorism Act and enforce an immediate moratorium on its use. Implement the recommendations by relevant treaty bodies, such as the Com Committee on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights to end military involvement in commercial and other civilian activities. Thank you, Mr. President.